Mm -hmm. He is still extraordinary. There were some circumstances that didn't necessarily work out, but it does not mean that he's not the, essentially the same guy right, right. who took the Pistons to mm -hmm. two back-to-back -back mm -hmm. world right. championships. Right. Okay? So the, the fact of the matter is life doesn't go in a straight line. It, it simply doesn't go in a, in a straight line. Yeah. There, there are yeah. ebbs and, 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 and there are flows and so forth. And it's easy. It's easy when you are Kobe Bryant, and right. you have just won the MVP. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you, 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 you're the MVP of the world. You're talking about some yeah. real superstars. I mean, How do you reach uh, normal folks, though, Mel? I mean, is it because they see that the superstars didn't necessarily get a good break? They worked hard at what they're doing. They, they didn't just practice all the time. They did perfect practice. I mean, they really focused on the skills and did them right. How do you reach the, I mean, you're able to connect to normal folks. So. Well, we, we connect to normal folks because we let people know that in order to be a superstar, right. you had to work. Yeah. In order yeah. to be a superstar, you had to you, be normal for You had to be, you had, nobody, was born, nobody was born a superstar. Right. Okay, yeah. nobody was born a superstar. I was talking to a, a, a friend of mine, and uh, I'm, I'm traveling around the country now and doing a lot of work with, uh, with Walmart. Right, right. And uh, a lot of work with their distribution centers, centers and their managers and, sure. that, and, and, that's, and that sort of thing. And, and so I was like, my God, how in the world did that happen? Yeah, yeah. And so... How did it happen, though? Well, it's, it's a very interesting thing. It's, it's what we call luck. And <laughs> luck is opportunity meeting preparation. Right, good. I'm okay. going to write that down. Luck, is, luck oppor is opportunity meeting preparation. Luck is opportunity meeting preparation. There was, uh, there was a gentleman uh, who um, was in charge of distribution center in uh, Hope Mills. Right. And he loves Myrtle Beach and visits quite often. He said that he was sitting down one day at lunch with a friend of his from, mm -hmm. uh, from Myrtle Beach. Right. And he was uh, telling her, he said, you know, I'm looking for a great speaker. I need somebody to come in and talk to, talk to my guys. Right. And he said, you know, I heard of this guy down in Paulie's Island. And she said, oh, we have somebody better than that. And he said, oh, you do? And so somehow she remembered my name. Right. And he went to, uh, went to my website, right. found my numbers, right. gave me a call, and said, hey, listen, this is who I am, this is what I do, right. this is what I, what, I, what I like, can you help me? Sure. And so I told him what I could do for him, went in, hit a home run, standing ovation. He comes up and he says, wow, man, I really like that. Will you come back? Can you can you can you can Get you do down. this? You know, can you can, you, can yeah. you do this? Yeah, you know. And I said, not a problem. Will you write me a letter? And uh, so he, you know, he wrote me a letter, right. and, uh, you know, referral and, and that sort of thing. And so I said, ah, let me. Hmm, Walmart. I wonder how many distribution centers these guys have. <laughs> 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 so you know, I just do a little research, find yeah. out how many they yeah. have. You yeah. know, start calling these guys and say, "Hey, you know, I'm, I'm doing some doing some work with this uh, this guy in uh, in North Carolina, right. and uh, now this thing is just uh, blowing up, and I'm traveling all traveling all over the place." And you've yeah, and you've expanded the extraordinary way into the extraordinary leader. Yes, yes, we're talking a lot about the extraordinary leader. See, because. Everything rises and falls on leadership. Mm -hmm. Okay, all of the great work that you do in the area. Okay, it 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 can be it can be funneled back, and you can look back at your ability to lead. And we're very fortunate in this in this area because we have some great some leaders. Great leaders. Great yeah. leaders. I mean, yeah. you take a look at the, the chamber. Oh, yeah. And and all of the wonderful things that Brad Dean is oh, doing. Yeah. I mean, just uh, he's, he's a good friend of mine. And I know. I'm just just really proud of. All the stuff that this guy is He's amazing. Doing. Are we going to be able to keep Brad here, Mel? There's oh. got to be a hundred folks firing bullets at him. I am absolutely amazed that yeah. he's not already gone. What's the deal? It's I, unbelievable. I, it, it, is, it, is, it is unbelievable that this guy is that this guy is still here. Uh, I, I would think a year, maybe two years. I, I think that somebody's going to come along and make an offer that he just cannot. I get refuse. sick thinking about it, but uh, I'm, his, I'm, his talent I'm, is yeah. so huge. It's, I'm, well, I'm surprised yeah. somebody from the. CBCI didn't get him after the tremendous success for both events. Uh, I mean, the Republican Party or the Congressional Black Caucus Institute yeah, not seeing him, in, or CNN or Fox News saying, yeah. we need this dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Actually, I, I, I know that for a fact that he's gotten a couple, gotten a couple of offers <laughs> that he's that he's, that he's had to that. push aside. We yeah, better be careful. Yeah, yeah we're all yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, it's it's no secret. Yeah, I mean, yeah, for no. all of all of us who have the the, the privilege of right. watching this guy, right. yeah. I mean, it, it is. You know, I mean, I, I I talk about this stuff. I I, I teach this stuff. Yeah, and, yeah. and the guy is just an amazing, an amazing leader. He's a gem. Yeah, he, yeah. He, he really is. And so when you take a look at all the things that are, that are happening right. here, I mean, he's behind so much oh, yeah. of that. Oh, yeah. And it, it all rises and falls on leadership. Right. Without that great leadership, mm -hmm. it, just, it just doesn't happen. I mean, and, and if you take a look at, uh, take a look at uh, Burroughs and Chapin and, and right. the great leadership that, uh, that Doug Wendell provided. Now, I know that there's some people who don't necessarily like sure, sure, uh, Burroughs and Chapin, but I think right. that when you're that big, and Jim Rosenberg now, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. When, you, when you're that Great big, yeah, when you're that big, mm -hmm. some people are are not necessarily going to like it. Sure, it's just, it's just like, the nature of the game. That's right. But when you look at what Burroughs and Chapin has accomplished and how they have put their footprint right. on the Grand Strand, where right. would we be without those great projects? Right. Where would we be without the Coastal Grand Mall? Or the, right. uh, uh, Broadway at the Broadway beach. Broadway at the sure. beach, yeah. and all of the other things yeah. that, that that they've done. I mean, they have done some sensational things, and yeah. uh, they really made the area better. Now, do folks have to find out about the Extraordinary Way in going to sessions, or do you have some of that at MelTiller.com? Do you give some of it out? Obviously, you're sharing some now. Do you yes. give it out when folks call the 843? Two 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 zero four nine seven number. We love we love right. to share it. We right. Love, we love right. to share it because uh, the more you share, the more opportunity uh, you have yeah. you have yeah. to share it. Absolutely. And, and I and I have friends who, who call me on a on a consistent basis. Hey Mel, what? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw it was funny reviewing some of the notes about <laughs> extraordinary success through diversity. There was some great communications of you know just talking to guys. How many of you guys really understand women? What are some uh, things you're going to do? Have you gotten into the dating side now? Oh, you're helping man. guys in, in dating uh, through the extraordinary way? Well, actually, we, we're using this uh, more for leaders. Right, right. Who uh, oh, have I'm to... I'm sorry. That's the other way of understanding women. Forgive yeah, me. Yeah. yeah. No, no. That's, 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 that's fine. Uh, because if you have to... Think about this. If you have to motivate a woman, if you have to mentor a woman, if you have to develop, you have women on your women on on your staff, exactly or same, you right. may or you may be working for a woman. Right. The problem is, we don't think alike. Mm -hmm. For instance, for instance, we handle crises differently. Mm -hmm. When women go through crises, women talk. Mm -hmm. When they when they when they are in, in crises, they want to they want to gather, okay, and they may want to vent. Okay, so they want to just, just they just want to talk. They they want somebody to listen. Right. Well, guys don't do that. When guys go through a crisis, They're guys go and find, try and find solitude. Right. They want to go get off by themselves somewhere right. and figure out yeah, what it is it, yeah. they want to say, yeah. and they don't want to say anything right. until, until they, they until they figure it out. Well, women talk to figure that out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so if, if you expect the person to talk. And they're not talking. Right. Well, you get very frustrated. Oh yeah. If you expect a person to be quiet, right? Okay, but they're talking. Yeah. You can get very frustrated. Good. One of the things that we 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 find is that, that that men make a tremendous tremendous mistake because they will hear a woman venting and then they will try to solve the problem. Uh -huh. Well, that's not what women want. They're not venting. They're not talking because they want you to solve the problem. Right. See, you don't understand. You're not listening correctly. What you should be doing at that point is listening for her feelings. Uh -huh. And so when guys try to solve the problems, they invalidate the woman's feelings. Wow. And when you invalidate those feelings, the woman then gets more irate than she was before. Wow. And no. the guy is trying to figure this out. Yeah. Wait a minute, I'm trying to tell you, you don't have right. to be mad, you don't have to right. be upset, you don't have to be overwhelmed. Well, you just invalidated. Right. Everything. This is really important in the workplace. Oh, it's it's, it's this enormous. is really important in the workplace. You were highlighting some critical critical things. We're on the tip of the iceberg, and we only have a couple of minutes. Yes, twenty three minutes, twenty four minutes have blown by. So mm -hmm. I want to make sure if if folks uh, 
are if there are, are there are there some seminars going on now or is it really on they need to check out your website to see where you're check out the be? website check out the website okay. give me give me right. a call right uh, we are having great success uh, you've got lots of different themes not to cut you off but on the yes. website folks can see I mean the website meltiller.com is yes. invaluable it's got a lot of great things on there they can talk about whether it's the extraordinary leader whether it's understanding both men and women yes. in the workplace so that uh, things can get to handled and solved appropriately absolutely so yeah give me give me a call and uh, we can work through whatever whatever issues you have That's and right. I can uh, and I can help you in, in any way give me give me a call I, I love this as I said I'm doing a lot of traveling now yes. and working with a lot of folks and we are we're writing uh, a, a lot of programs uh, focusing on leadership, focusing on helping people achieve extraordinary right. results. And we're doing that through diversity. We're doing that with the extraordinary leader primarily. Right. And uh, we're having a lot of success with this as we travel around the country. What makes you tick, Mal? What well, makes you tick? I, I love this. I mean, yeah. you know, when you have passion, and I have been thinking uh, for many years now, what is it that makes individuals achieve extraordinary results. What right. allows them to achieve extraordinary results when you have people who are just as talented, who are just as well educated, who are just as smart, who are just struggling. Just absolutely struggling. And I enjoy going around and helping those individuals who are struggling, who, who might be off just a little bit and out there playing around with the lions and tigers and bears, and I love right. helping them get back on the yellow. That really road. makes you tick. Yeah. <laughs> if you're not helping somebody, you're not uh, at your peak. Well, you know, yeah. that's yeah. That, that's 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 life. Because the more you help, the more you get back. The more you give, the more the more you get back. And it's 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 a lot of fun. Yeah. And I meet great guys like you and Brad yeah. and so many other folks, uh, Martha Hun, and so, so many, many. Are, so many people around here who are giving so much to the community yeah. and giving so much back. And so it's a lot of fun when you when you when you're running around in that kind of circle, and it just kind of keep floats. doing what you do, Mel. I'm uh, sorry we've run out of time. The extraordinary man. Stay tuned to more Carolina people. With just that, Mel Tiller coming up next. What a great way to kick off the week. A great way to kick off Monday. Think about it. Mel Tiller is brilliant at doing what he does, motivating people to be their best. That's you sitting right there. It's you, whether, whether you're watching this online, you're watching this on air right now, it's you motivating people to be their best. Think about it. You know, hearing him talk about the little nuggets, the nugget he picked up in the fifth grade when his uncle let him borrow the trombone and the impact that it had on his life. You know, for me, I think about OPM. You think you hear that acronym. This one, it's OMP. When he talked about luck, OMP, opportunity meeting preparation. Opportunity meeting preparation. What a great opportunity, a little nugget you can walk away with. It may be lucky for you that you just happened to see Mel on air this morning and decided to sit through it. You didn't rush off to school. Your kids may be late now. You didn't rush off to work. It's luck. That opportunity meeting preparation, it's a great opportunity. Think about that. MelTiller.com. MelTiller.com or 843-222-0497. It may be lucky that you remember that number, 222-0497. Do something with it. Give them a call or go online. Mel Tiller. Thanks for everything you do. Always a pleasure.